Hi, my name is Marcella Kroll, and I'm here at Mystic Journey Bookstore in Venice, California. Today, we're going to be looking at Snow White and the Huntsman and see its release date this weekend, what its success rate is going to be, and also look at some of the more mystical things that might be happening with this movie. Okay, let's have a look. Okay. Well, you know, honestly, the <laughs> I think there was a lot of money being held up, in, um, a lot of things held up with the finances of this movie. I, I, I do feel like there's a lot of struggle. Uh, it might be a little bit of a disappointment at the box office. I think their intentions were good, but ultimately, um, I'm not sure. It might do better overseas is what I'm seeing. I, I'm, I, it feels like there's, a, again, a lot of good intentions, but uh, having, you know, the Hierophant here as means of a storyteller, this is, you know, really wanting to do the story justice, but with the influence of we have the Seven of Swords, which can tend to be a gossipy card and negative talk, and we have death over it, I just, I, I don't, I'm not seeing really good things for this movie. It could be bad reviews, it could be, go this could be, Seven of Swords could be bad reviews, it could be gossip, it could be, uh, also it could stir up some drama with the actors um, on an outside level, on a personal level. The moon is a lot of illusion. I think their intentions were good, but I will say this, because of the planetary actions and things happening right now, um, Neptune and Pisces, it's a great time for storytelling. Neptune and Pisces is all about the revival of fantasy and there's going to be a rebirth in art and music and movies and things are going to shift in the movie world. Uh, what you're being seen out there, there's going to be a lot of retelling of stories in a new way, new fantasy way. But I think they jumped the gun a little bit. This Five of Cups here, is, it was, this is disappointment ultimately. Um, and I do see, let me see here, there is some motion coming out of this though. This might force other people in the movie industry and maybe people who worked on this film to up the ante of the quality of what they want to be working on in the future. Yeah, I'd love to look at Kristen Stewart right now and see what her career is looking like because she's been an up and coming star for a while now and I'd love to see how this is going to affect her career. To see what's happening for her career wise, she is an Aries and the past two and a half years Saturn, the planet of karma and lessons, has been in Libra, which is her opposite sign. A lot of times when we have a Saturn in a, a, a sign, astrological sign, the opposite sign feels it. So it has been about partnership, which she's dealing with on a personal life, very publicly, I would say. Um, also, not just romantic partnership, but business partnership. So she's being offered roles and things maybe that she wouldn't have had the opportunity for before. Okay. Interesting. Um, let's see. So the hangman is about having patience. And for her, it's about having patience with her career. Things may be being stalled a little bit. I, I, I do feel like a lot of these roles that she's taken on have forced her to confront some fears she had maybe about her acting career. And she does have some victory in June, I think, press-wise, because she really can step up to the plate and defend herself and speak quite clearly about what she's trying to present herself as. I do see new opportunities for her um, coming out of this. I don't think it's it's going to be her best movie, but it's definitely going to put her at a crossroad to decide if she wants to take on some more, uh, I guess, adult roles, serious roles, um, and step out of the fantasy realm a little bit. Uh, let's see. I do see her working really hard in August, and I do see support from her fans, although she might receive some harsh attention from her critics. Again, gossip. Also gossip around her romantic life. I think this is this movie might stir up some unwanted attention. Um, and I don't know if she's got some endings coming up for herself in relationships, but I do, do see that some of this is going to stir up publicity around her personal life that might not be so fun. 
I do see her being able to reap the benefits of it though um, in the long term, even though she might not really be comfortable with it at first. It's gonna actually help boost her peer on um, publicly in her public appearance. And I also see a new relationship for her. Yeah, so ultimately while it might not be, you know, uh, the best or perceived experience with this movie for her, I do see a lot of magic coming out of it and, and some reworking of fate. It all depends on how we just look at it. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at Chris Hemsworth and see how this movie is going to be affecting him career-wise. Okay. As a Leo, he's a natural-born creative performer and a leader. I do see him being able to celebrate successes with this. While this movie does not fare well, I see for, for uh, Kristen Stewart, I do see it being a positive for um, his character and for his personal life. I feel like this is going to create many things if he can avoid his self-sabotaging traps that he might mentally inflict upon himself. Um, there might be some of the gossipy columns and things like that, that there's a lot of talk right now because we have planets in Gemini and Gemini is the communicator. When Gemini is uh, in a bad placement, it can bring up a lot of gossip, but it also can be really powerful stuff if, if the right information is placed into the right hands. So with a couple of strategic moves, probably I'm seeing from either his agent or managers and getting it into the right hands, he can really redeem himself as a powerful person and a power player and a really fantastic up and coming up-and-comer um, in the movie industry. I also see a powerful alliance with him and another male that's going to come out of this. So um, there has been a lot of work that he put into this mentally. Um, I don't know if he's done a lot of physical training, but it looks like this has also allowed him to create um, a, a real strong boundary for himself within him and the public eye. And uh, also, I don't there's there's some tension between him and Kristen Stewart, and I'm not sure if that's going to play a part in how things are reviewed. Let me see. Again, this is going to be I'm seeing some uh, you know a broad uh, travel for this movie, and this is going to actually help push him in another market, which is great. And I do see a lot of support. Um, his fan base actually might grow uh, to a much bigger and better place because of this. What else? You know, what's interesting is uh, I'm not sure how him and Kristen Stewart get along, but I, it's funny. They're definitely karmically supposed to work together. They're both being fire signs and initiators and getting things done. But ultimately, I don't know how long that kind of working friendship is going to remain after this has come out. There might be some things that come to light that the public will find out about. Overall, I think this will be good for him uh, career-wise, I do see it growing his audience and his admirers, his fan base is going to get even larger, but uh, it just seems like it would be better for him than her and overall for the movie. I think he's the one that stands to gain the most from it.